Now, I truly think some of the hit songs of the future are probably going to be created with AI because AI music technology is progressing so quickly. In this video, I'm gonna show you a handful of tools that I think are pretty groundbreaking. All of this is sort of ground floor stuff. This is very, very, very early. If you're not super impressed by anything I'm sharing, just give it a month. Now, the first one I wanna talk about is called Music LM, and it's actually put out by Google Research. We don't have access to play with this one ourselves, but they give us a whole bunch of examples of what it can do. And this is a text to music platform. Let's quickly take a listen to some of the examples that they give here. And then I'm gonna show you some other really, really cool music generation tools that are available out there right now. Let's check out some of these examples from Music LM here. By generating this prompt, you get this music over here. The main soundtrack of an arcade game is fast paced and upbeat with a catchy electric guitar riff. The music is repetitive and easy to remember, but with unexpected sounds like cymbal crash and drum rolls. So that's the prompt. Let's hear what that generates. Kind of reminds me of a song out of Sonic the Hedgehog or something like that. So a meditative song, calming and soothing with flutes and guitars. The music is slow with a focus on creating a sense of peace and tranquility. <laughs> Like I'm in a day spa right now. So here's one that says, this is an R&B hip hop music piece. There's a male vocal rapping and a female vocal singing in a rap like manner. Now this can't actually generate vocals. So the sounds you're gonna hear are sort of vocal like sounds, but they're not gonna be real words. So check this out. Pretty good. I mean, it's all pretty catchy stuff to be honest. Down here we've got story mode. The audio is generated by providing a sequence of text prompts. You can see they've actually put some timestamps. Time to meditate from zero to 15 seconds, time to wake up from 15 to 30 seconds, time to run from 30 to 45, and time to give from 45 to 60. Let's listen for a second and I'll kind of fast forward through it a little bit. Pretty cool. It actually could change the song based on the prompts and the timestamps given. Now there is so many different examples here that I don't want to go through them all because I have a couple other cool tools I want to show you here. Here's it whistling jingle bells. <laughs> or here's it playing twinkle twinkle little star on the piano. And just a lot to explore here about what is coming from this AI music model from Google. You can see here's the URL up in the top bar, but the easiest way is probably to go to future tools and type in music LM and find it that way. Now I wanna show you some other cool tools. So one of them is called Synthesizer V. And what this is, is AI generated music vocals. And this is actually really, really crazy. So this is actually trained on the voices of a whole bunch of singers and then put into an AI model and then you can actually type in words and it'll turn those words into vocals and then you can change the key. Let me show you some examples that are available on the website that just kind of blew my mind the first time I heard them. And let's check out this Solaria here. And this is real words. These aren't gibberish words. So listen in. Oh, when light has gone into hiding. Oh, when skies won't stop for So all of those vocals you just heard were text to voice prompts. Here's another one. I was following the 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 I this is just crazy. So there's actually a free demo that you could download, which actually has one voice that I'm able to play around with. And this is what it looks like. It looks like an audio editor here. 
with a with a little keyboard on the side so you can know what key you're putting stuff in. Double click on an area and you can see that it opened up a little text box where I could type. So if I go, hello, YouTube, and then stretch this out a little bit, I could change how long this resonates for and check this out. Hello, YouTube. I could change the key. Hello, YouTube. Hello, YouTube. So I can make a whole song. So I'll leave hello, YouTube. And then I'll come up here and I'll put my name is Matt Wolf. Stretch this out a little bit so it, you know, holds the note longer and check this out. Hello, YouTube. My name is Matt Wolf. Move it in a little bit so it says it quicker. Hello, YouTube. My name is Matt Wolf. And then let's add something down here on the C note again. This go is the, then let's come all the way up here and make it a high note. Best channel on YouTube. I could drag this out if I want. Hello, YouTube. My name is Matt Wolf. This is the best channel on YouTube. Isn't that beautiful? I mean, that's the best song I've ever heard. Go ahead and stretch these words out here a little bit. Hello, YouTube. My name is Matt Wolf. This is the best channel on YouTube. <laughs> I could change these notes a little bit. Let's drag this up here. Let's pull this one down here. And now it's going to sound like a totally different song because I'm changing the keys of these notes here. Hello, YouTube. My name is Matt Wolf. This is the best channel on YouTube. I think we got a bestseller here. Then let's just go add a real high pitch. Yeah. Ooh, yay, 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 yay. So this is really fun. Quite mind blowing, honestly. If there were some actual beats below this, I could imagine that you probably wouldn't really even be able to tell that this wasn't somebody really singing this. So this is just crazy. And this is just scratching the surface because this, with the pro edition, there's so many other voices here. Let's check out one of the masculine voices here. Let's listen to Kevin. And then you got Asterian. Natalie here. So that is once again called Synthesizer V Studio from this company Dream Tonics. And it is actually pretty mind blowing despite my lack of ability to make a, a good sounding song. You can imagine where this is all headed and you can also imagine what somebody who actually has a little bit more music ability than I do could do with this kind of thing. Put some beats underneath this, make the notes in the proper keys so that it sounds like a good melody and you've got something going there. And the last one I wanna show you is just kind of a fun free one that you can play with. It's by this company Voice Mod and it says your meme song song machine and you can click here and generate a song for free. They have a handful of styles that you can play with. So you've got dark trap. You've got levitate. La, 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 la. And there's just all sorts of ones. I'll let you jump in here and play around with them. I don't want to spoil them all for you. I kind of like this dark trap one. So let's go ahead and click next. And then you've got various voices that you can use. La, 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 la. Got Ed, we got Amy. La, 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 la. We got Joe. Nani, nani, nani. Jerry. Holy moly. Ho so let's go ahead and work with Joe on this one. And then we can go ahead and write some lyrics down. So let's just put Matt Wolf is the creator of Future Tools and his YouTube channel makes awesome videos about AI technology. Everyone should subscribe. Let's see what it does. And then I'll click create song. All right, so let's see what it generated. Let's listen in. Matt Wolf. Is the creator of future tools and his YouTube channel makes awesome videos about technology. Everyone should subscribe. All right, so maybe there's a little too many words in there. Let's try a different bass song. Let's try Levitate. Let's use Ed as the singer this time. All right, let's create this song here and see what it does. My Wolf's channels, great everyone. Should subscribe, learn about who are there. Will be a lot more good videos and videos and you will love them. 
too bad. I think we have a hit on our hands. Anyway, if I spend a little bit more time trying to get the syllables to line up with the beat and the song, you know anybody could make something pretty epic sounding with this. The downside to this one is you are working with a finite amount of beats. You gotta kind of pick the beat and then it's gonna do AI singing over it, but it's still fun. You can still make like a meme song and it's still doing an AI text to speech vocal over the top of it, which is pretty dang cool. So between what Google's working on with Music LM, where you can basically generate any sort of beat with just a text prompt and get any style of music you could dream of. And with a tool like Synthesizer V where you can get actual realistic sounding voice vocals over the top of it, I really, really think we're gonna see some AI generated freaking hits in the next several years, if not in the next several months. This voice mod one that I was playing with is kind of more like a meme generator, just kind of screw around with it. But there's some serious technology behind some of these tools. And like I said, in the beginning these are very 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 early this is ground floor stuff if you're watching videos like this right now you're seeing this at the very beginning of it pretty much in every single youtube video i do i always get comments about like oh that artwork sucks i'm not worried about my job anytime soon or oh i'm not worried about music producers their job's safe but you're missing the point the point of these videos is i am trying to show you this stuff at the ground floor this is the very beginning of the technology it's only up from here. You've seen what Google can do and what sort of beats it can generate with text prompts. You've heard what tools like that Synthesizer V can do to make realistic sounding vocals over beats. This stuff is only getting crazier and crazier by the day and more and more impressive. While if I am a music producer or I am a vocalist or I am a musician, right now I'm not worried, but this stuff is coming and it's coming in hot. So exciting times. I'm excited to keep on playing around with tools. I'm excited to keep nerding out and showing off what tools I come across all the time. If you wanna keep coming across new tools every day as well, check out futuretools.io. This is the site where I curate all of the cool tools that I'm coming across. I add tons of new tools every single day. There's over 800 tools on here right now. In the last 24 hours, I've added 18 new tools. That's how quickly I'm adding new tools. And if you wanna know just the ones that are my favorite tools, you can narrow it down to Matt's picks. It'll show off the 131 tools that I came across that I'm like, these ones are really cool. Everybody needs to know about these. And if even that's still too much for you, join the weekly newsletter every single Friday. I'll just send you the five coolest tools that I came across for the whole week. And trust me, it's really hard to narrow it down to just five, but I pick the five coolest tools every single week, along with a handful of YouTube videos, a handful of news articles, and one cool way to make money with AI. All you got to do is get on the free newsletter. It only goes out on Fridays. You can find it all over at futuretools.io. Thanks so much for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, maybe give it a like. If you give it a like, it'll make sure you see more of my videos in your feed. And if you subscribe to this channel, that'll help as well. And thanks so much for tuning in. I really appreciate you. Thanks for nerding out with me. Bye-bye. <laughs>